Tezos ecosystem is really great and FX Hash is one of my favorite services when it comes to NFTs and generative art because FX Hash is basically about generative art. You'll find many collections here uh, from top artists, from newcomers and everyone trying experimenting with different things. The platform is easy to use so I'm going to show you around. This is basically a tutorial into FX Hash. So first of all, uh, if you're new to Tezos, uh, and that's your first time going into the Tezos ecosystem, uh, you'll be needing a wallet. Uh, so if you're coming from uh, Ethereum ecosystem, uh, probably the most popular wallet is Temple Wallet, but there are a bunch of others who are, which are working pretty fine as well. So first of all, get a wallet and then come into fxhash.xyz and you will see this screen. So basically you have recent works and the marketplace uh, with different collections uh, available. So uh, if you click on explore, you will be able to see uh, the gallery, the what's coming uh, and what, what's recently minted. You will have a bunch of filters you can use. Uh, but basically, uh, this is the easiest to discover different artworks coming to the platform. Uh, another thing, as you can see, it's a little bit different from, for example, OpenSea and other marketplaces. People are really creating generative art here and experimenting with different math based art. Uh, and it's really, really cool. So some of the things are really looking uh, super cool. And the other thing you can use to explore what's going on is uh, go to marketplace and then choose uh, you, and you can sort through collections which are by highest volume. So you can see what's being the most popular, what, what's being the most desired uh, when it comes to collections, either by seven days or all time, 24 hours and so on. So uh, for all time, it's uh, still the garden for quite some time. This is a small collection uh, of 25, uh, 255 ele elements in total and basically uh, different gardens. As you can see, this is the artwork. Yeah, it's, it's pretty impressive, super detailed, uh, looks great. Uh, but the, the floor price is, I guess, close to 20,000 Tezos. On the other hand, uh, you can get really, really cheap NFTs here. And if you're just starting with NFTs, you basically can get NFTs for something like one Tezos, half a Tezos. So those prices are basically like less than a dollar. So this and plus the gas fees are almost non-existent on Tezos, which means that uh, you can really get uh, your NFTs, your first art NFTs for less than a dollar, which is really amazing. This is, of course, uh, most desired collection here on the platform. There are a bunch of others as well, which will have this high uh, floor, floor prices and probably are not for the beginners who are just starting with the, with the field. But if you're just looking for something, you can go to uh, FX Hash, start exploring uh, and then see what, what people are creating. And there will be a bunch of things. So for example, there's this, let me click on uh, the abstract truth. Uh, and for example, I can mint one iteration, so one NFT for five Tezos. So this is around $5. Uh, so as you can see, this is usually much, much cheaper. Uh, generally speaking, there's a ton of artwork. The best way to discover artists in general, uh, be that on Tezos or uh, on Ethereum or other chains, is always Twitter because most of the artists you can see, you can, for example, go to one of the collections here and probably you'll be able to uh, click on the profile and then you will be taken directly to Twitter if you click on that so you can read more about the given artist and it's really crucial to do that because uh, the fun of collecting art is basically has to do with uh, meeting new people, interacting with them uh, and uh, learning more about the creation process, what they want to, want, what they want to do, what they want to show you through their artworks uh, and that, that's really, really fundamental here. Uh, it's a bit different than with PFPs and like those NFTs which are about like growing the community uh, and uh, making sure that you know you get different perks while buying a given particular PFP. Uh, art is different and art is for the, the thing for the long term, for the enjoyers, uh, for people who want to uh, just have something cool uh, in their wallets. Uh, so yeah, definitely check out fxhash, fxhash.xyz. Really easy to start with Tezos. Uh, 
Temple wallet, that's my uh, wallet of choice, but uh, probably there's a bunch of other wallets which will be working equally fine uh, for uh, interacting with uh, FX hash. And that's it. It's really simple to start, really recommended. It's really cheap to jump on board and uh, explore generative art and start building your collection from there. Let me know if you have any questions, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next episode.